Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. You are welcome to another wonderful episode of Boldness in Christ Jesus. Today is another awesome moment in His presence. You are welcome. 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 God bless you. God bless you. Welcome. 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 Today is another awesome moment in His presence. Please come live without can you share the video. And the Lord will bless you richly. As you share the video, you will share your testimony. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Today is another wonderful episode of goodness in Christ. Jesus, as you can see, we have five great in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are welcome. I can see you, the son of my father, Dr. Chimobi. God bless you. Thank Please, you, everyone, as you come alive, kindly share this video. Kindly share the video. Kindly share the video. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we are praying. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Without wasting much of our time, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Please. As you come on live with us, can you share this video so that a lot of people will join us this evening? Hallelujah. So that they can also be blessed. Glory. So that they can also be blessed. Glory to God. Glory to God. Please share, 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 share. As you share the video, you will share your testimony. As you share the video, you also be the, 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 the you are equally joining God, us God, to God. preach the gospel. Glory to Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord, Hallelujah. Lord, I celebrate Lord. everyone watching us this evening. Ah, we have to you move on now. Man of God, uh, Pastor Christopher, please okay, let us hear what the Lord has laid in your heart to share with each and everyone okay, that is watching this video right now. And I will watch the video later. Let okay. us hear what the Lord has laid in your heart. Hallelujah. Pastor Christopher, over to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. You are welcome to this live program this evening. May the almighty God intervene in your life, in your situation, in whatever Amen. you are going through. May the almighty God touch you and transform your life. In Jesus' Amen. name. I Amen. celebrate you, Pastor Joy. I celebrate you, Apostle Job. I celebrate you, Evangelist Godwin. God bless you. God increase you. Anointing will not run dry in the name of Jesus. May the Almighty God begin to take you from height to height. The Word of God says something in Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 18. He said, The path of the just is as a shining light, it shines brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. So, sir, your Shall your light continue to shine in the name of Jesus? Amen. Just like the word of God said in, pro, in, in, in Job, in Job chapter, 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 chapter 22 and verse 29. He said, when men shall say there is a casting down, you that I'm seeing right now shall say there is a lifting up in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, brethren, you know, a lot of us, a lot of us Christians, we, we do make a lot of mistakes. Mm. We make a lot of mistakes. Mm. Like, like everyone, everyone is looking forward to, 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 to start a new beginning. Like you are entering into a new year. Everyone wants, everyone will begin to decree. I will be this. I will mm. become that. Uh, this next year, I know I am going to become millionaire. This next year is a good decree. But there is one thing I want us to understand very clearly. When you are making decree and you are not making any changes hmm. in your life, 
nothing changes. That's it. The change has to start from you. Hmm. I know the word of God said in Job chapter 22, 20, he said, you shall decree it and shall be established. That is true. Hmm. But you, before you begin to decree a thing, you have to, you have to lay down something doing. Hmm. Just like, just like it, uh, the, 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 the woman of uh, the, the Zarephi that God sent Elijah to. Hmm. He said, what do you have? That's it. What do you have? You cannot be making empty decree without mm. anything. Mm -hmm. You have to have something. It is that thing that you have that God blesses. <laughs> Man. It is that thing that you have that God blesses. You are going into a new year. Yeah, it's a good thing to have a new year resolution. What mm. have you changed about your life? That's because it. when you don't change anything about your life, nothing changes. Hallelujah. Mm. Nothing changes. If you want to, if you just, this is a house, like this is a room, and the room is like this. And you are saying, next year, I want my room to be more beautiful than this. You have to make some little, little changes for, the, yeah. for differences to be there. But if mm. you leave the room the way it is, nothing will change. It is the way you leave it. Even if you are not careful, you will come and meet death. That's it. Everything is dirty. That is how our life is. When we say, okay, we want a new thing to happen in our life, then we have to start, we have to effect it from our own life. Mm. In everything we do, we have to we have to put an effort. You want your spiritual life to grow, then you need what to study more about God. Yes. You need to pray more. You need to fast more if you want to grow spiritually. The same way, if you want your finances, you want, you want your finances to increase. You need what? To save more. And you need to yes. work more. And you need to pray more. Mm. Every change needs a change. Hallelujah. That's it. I hear this one. Every change needs a change. Mm. If you want a thing, if you want something to grow, you have to add to it. If you don't add to it, it will go down. It's just like a house. You are in a house and there is nobody in the house. You will see the house will begin to wither. Hmm. The same thing is like a finance that you are holding a finance in your hand and you are not making tangible use of it. It will go. Hmm. It will go. Amen. Amen. If, you see the light, if, you, if you check the word of God, if you check Isaiah chapter 6, or that, if you go to Daniel, go to Daniel chapter 6, you see, before Daniel was preferred, before he was preferred more than he says, because something was in him. If you read Daniel mm. chapter 6 and verse 3 there, let's open because we are here. We want to really speak about some issue, the kind of mistake which you didn't make. Because a lot of Christians, they make a lot of mistakes. That's it. A lot of mistakes. Daniel chapter 6, if you read verse 3. He said, then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents mm. and priests. Why? Because an excellent spirit was in him. Hello. I, an uh, excellent spirit was, was in him. He carried him. something. Mm. He carried something. That is why he was preferred. Mm. What the world is not looking, listen, the world is not looking for any empty vessels. The mm -hmm. world is looking for someone that carries something. That's it. Hallelujah. The Amen. world is looking for someone with something. They want to see what you can offer. Mm. You are working in a place and you are you keep repeating the same thing over and over again. People will get tired. People will get tired. They want to see new things. Just like the jet age we are in. People want to see new things. You need to be impacted. You need to be impacted. If you see the word of God, if you see, if you, if you study in Exodus, if you study Exodus, when God was telling uh, uh, Moses how he was going to make the Ark of the Covenant, he spoke about some people that he impacted. He said, these people, I have impacted them with the spirit of wisdom. 
He mm. has impacted them with spirit of wisdom. That means if you don't carry anything, if you don't carry something, nobody know you, nobody recognizes you. If we, if we come to our normal lifestyle, if you don't have anything, if you don't have something tangible in hand, nobody knows you. You have to be someone with a voice. You have to be someone with a with an exemplary and with, mm. with, with, with something tangible in your hand. That is why the word of God says something in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14. He said, We are the light of the world. Hallelujah. We Amen. are the light of the world. Mm. For you to be light, you need to shine anywhere you are. The thing that is befalling others should not be able to befall you as a child of God. Amen. Amen. The thing that Amen. is befalling others should not be able to befall you because you are a different person entirely. Amen. We are supposed to be giving dictates to people. We are supposed to be making examples for people like the worldly people. They should look at us and begin to, to begin their life begin to transform. Our, their life will begin to transform when they begin to see us. Okay. It is that. for you as a child of God to, to descend low, to, 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 to begin to get ideas from people that are, in, are, are not yet born again, that are in the world. Because the word of God has said, it says, you, 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 you are the light. You are light. I am light. So anywhere there is darkness, you are to be the one to illuminate it. As a child of God, a lot of people. I want you to understand, we Christians. Okay, I am talking this. to every one of us, both the people mm -hmm. that are listening. Okay. I want you to understand. There are a lot of people. They don't read the Bible. Okay, they don't read the Bible. What they read is you. What they read okay. is you. So once your character, a lot yeah, of people, there are some you don't need to 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 go about preaching. It is it is mandatory that we preach because the word of God said it. If you check uh, Matthew chapter twenty eight verse nineteen and twenty, there he said you should go into the word and minute preach the gospel. It is a very but the first thing you need to do let your life preach to people. You are going into a new year. You want to enter into twenty twenty two. What is it that you are carrying into twenty twenty two? That's the question. What are you carrying into 2022? Are you going to be living the kind of lifestyle you have been living before? Mm. Is it that same kind of life? That, if you are living the same kind of life, that you will not expect any result better than what you are getting now. Mm. It can even go worse. It can even get worse if you are not, if you still remain, remain the same way you are. God is not, is not, is not. God is always happy with his children that changes. Mm. That changes. That changes better. Just like I, when I was praying for us, I said, like in Proverbs chapter 4, verse, verse 18, the part of the judge is as a shining light. It's shining brighter and brighter. That is what the life of a Christian should be. A lot, you see what is going on on internet these days? As a child of God, that should not be you. You you should not allow that to be a part of you. Hmm. If you study the Word of God very well, this morning I was ministering when I, I because I have I have a, I minister every morning to people. I was ministering and I make mention of this thing. A lot of people when they begin to open their mouth to speak against men of God, is because why they are ignorant of the Word of God. That's it. And I made mention of I made mention of this portion, Isaiah 54, verse 17. He said, No weapon that is come my function against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall you shall condemn. He said, For this is the, the, the heritage of the servant of God, and their righteousness is of me. Mm. If they are right, to, they are not right, to I am the God that will judge them. That's so you as, as as human, you don't have the right. I also went ahead to speak about what David was saying concerning Saul. David was saying, he said, oh, we touch the Lord's anointed. 
that will that will that will that will go scot free. Even even Saul was after the life of David, yet he would not raise his hand against him. And then here yeah, now you see a lot of people they begin to they, they begin to speak against the men of God. They say nasty things. I just look at them at times. I fear my head because when you know the word of God, when you have been when you get the lemma of the word of God, you cannot do that kind of a thing. So that is like when some when you see some people the way they are acting. You just you just know that this this is the level of their spirituality. You just know this is the level of their spirituality, and a lot of Christians follow them. Mm. The errors that we can, we should not do. A lot of Christians follow them. Even lots of Christians they are the one that we won't publish. You. Why? Because the word said the word of God. Said, the letter kill it. They read the Bible as the letter. They don't have the rema. The Holy Spirit mm. has not ministered the word to them. When the Holy Spirit ministers to you, <laughs> you will fear God. That's it. Fear God. Because you don't know the message that God has given to evangelist Godwin, or that has given to Apostle PJ, or that has given to uh, Prophet Joy. You don't know. I, I, When I go through the word of God, I study it over and over again. You need to fear God. He said, just the way the heaven is higher than the earth. So the thought of God is higher than us. God can mm. give you a message. And what he's giving you, it might be a different thing he's giving the other person. So it is not, it is not yours to judge them. Amen. Study the word of God and let the Holy Spirit minister to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Look. Spirit minister to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Have I gone that far? Yes, I don't man of God. God. Oh. Hallelujah. God so, God God. May the name of the Lord God. be praised. As you can hear, everything that the man of the man of God, Pastor Chris, said this evening is that as you are crossing over to the new year, one of the major mistakes you must not make is to lack the fear of God. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. So as you are crossing over to the new year. Let the fear of God be a part of you. The Bible said the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. You can see what is going on the, in, on the internet, all this uh, uh, propaganda and insults on men of God and the rest. You can see that is exactly what Pastor Chris is making us to understand. That if we and, want a change... Most importantly, let the Holy Spirit... Take exactly, the let the Holy God Spirit God guide God us. God Hallelujah. God Awesome. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor Chris, for that uh, for that uh, contribution. May the name of the Lord God be praised you, in your God life, you, in Jesus' name. God bless you, man. Hallelujah. You, man. Apostle P. P. Joe, let us hear what the Holy Spirit have laid in your heart. Apostle P. Joe, you are in Italy, but it looks like you are in Nigeria. Uh, uh, is, did Nepal come and uh, share no, some... No. <laughs> some <laughs> <laughs> is a, is Some of their workers over there. What is happening? <laughs> As you can see, I'm this inside the where van. Apostle Peter, let us hear what the Lord have have laid in your heart. I, I'm, in the, I'm in the vehicle, <laughs> man. I'm on journey. So okay, it was, it's just so funny. Glory be to God. I celebrate you, Evangelist Godwin. Okay, I celebrate you, Pastor okay. Christopher. I celebrate you, Prophet God Joy. Bless you. God, bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Bless you. When I was in time this evening, the theme of the program says, don't make same mistake again. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking. Are, are we hearing me? Yes, sir. Clearly. Okay. The, 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 the theme of the program says, don't make of same course, mistake course, again. You course. know, procrastination is one of the tools that devil use to tie the children of God down. Procrastination is a, is a force that are driving the Christian dome today that makes people, why? Because people don't do it in the place of prayer. People don't do it in the place of study. People don't do it in the place of learning. Now look at what the Bible says in the book of Romans 10 verse 17. It says, what comments? What the Bible says there, Romans 10 verse 17. It's a faith coming by hearing and hearing from the word of God. Now, do you, you know why he made mention of hearing the word of God? Because he did not say faith coming by hearing, because he knows that you will hear a lot of things. Like today, we hear a lot of things. Somebody will just wake up, open Instagram page or whatever, just to get like, he will tell you that so-so pastor, so-so church, mm. and now the devil have manipulated the believers that 
if they bring news about pastor, negative news, it says more than any other thing. So everybody now sees that advantage. Mm. But they don't know, sir, yesterday I was coming back from work and I was thinking in my mind, a pastor wrote me a message. I don't know what to reply him because the message was so hot. You know, the message was, I was supposed to reply him like uh, with rough. But I was like saying that this is a man of God. How will, how will I do it? Because I fear pastors. I don't know for anybody. I fear pastors. I, anybody that is a pastor, I respect them differently. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But I because I know the covenant attached to pastor. Can I shock you, oh, sir? Yes. They will don't know this. I told somebody, a pastor can be can carry gun and be robbing, smoking, or doing whatever. Nothing, God is not interested in whatever that is doing that time. But the moment you say anything against that man, you might be in trouble. People don't know yes, this. Yes, sir. <laughs> People don't know this. But when you say it, they will say, eh, you are no, eh, this and this. They start to quote Bible that they don't know. <laughs> the time when you talk about uh, Saul and David, that is why I begin to fear God. Somebody killed the, the son that wanted to kill David. Instead of David to be happy, David said, who, who gave you the order? Who are you to keep God's anointed? And I begin to ask, what is the meaning of this? This is the man after your life. And he was killed by someone, and you're supposed to reward the person for killing your enemy. And David said, no, you don't have the right to lay hands on the anointed of God. Glory be to God. I am Hallelujah. talking to a sister, I'm talking to a brother. I don't know who needs to hear this. If you want to enter 2022 mm. in peace and see the hand of God, number one thing you should do, desist yourself from anything that kicks against ministry and men of God, most importantly. I am not saying this because I'm a pastor. Yes. I am not saying this. I always tell people, people that know me, they know me very well. I'm a very blunt person. I say it the way it is. I am also against many ministers, the way they do things. But that, that notwithstanding, that you should be in the ministry of condemnation talking against pastors, one thing that, tears my, that gives me tears, I see some pastors in the altar of the God, they are talking mm. about pastors. If you don't have message, you begin to speak in tongues. If you don't have anything to preach, begin to speak That's in it. tongues. That is the best way. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because of the time factor. Now, one of the Hallelujah. things that people don't understand in getting the blessings of God, when we are saying that, oh, 2022 is my year. Yes, it's your year. I love what uh, Pastor Christopher said. It's your year. Yeah, glory be to God. It's good to make a good decree. But are you working on it? God is a God of instruction. Look at what happened in the book of Genesis 12. God asked Abraham to leave the country. Abraham left, but he disobeyed God. Where did he disobey God? He went with Lot. Now, when you hear about Lot, Lot was never a bad person. But Lot was not in the agenda of God with Abraham on that journey. Mm hmm. Mm. So, I am talking to somebody listening to me this night. As you're entering 2022, condemning pastors is not part of God joining for your life. I don't know who needs to hear this. It might sound mm. funny, but it's the truth. Mm. Talking down on pastors, there was something that happened on free send. Let me just say this on live. It almost brings argument with my own wife. You know, this thing was so real. I was like, my wife said, ah, oh, but I don't they suspect you. I be, you and this man, they do this. I said, no, madam. I am not defending this man. The funniest thing that till today I don't even know the man of God, and we are in the same country. And I beat even last week I was in their city, but I don't know. I have not seen him one on one, but I was defending him as if he's my friend. And he was. I said no. The reason I am defending his office, not him. Point of correction. I am defending where, what he represents, not him himself. Mm -hmm. I don't care to know him, mm. but I'm representing what he represents. What now? Look at this, sir. Why is it people are in our church? We pray for them. We do everything. We fast for their sake. And it's if nothing is working. And somebody will come or we travel for a program. Oh, somebody will come. Apostle, the prophecy you gave me, the Lord have, I, have done it. The prayer you gave me, the Lord have done it. And you begin to ask yourself, but this sister is in our church. He's a cleaner. He's a worker. They are working passionately. Why is God not blessing? Sometimes you even ask God, bless this person. Sir, can I tell you the truth? Anointing that the God give us, anointing is so jealous. Anointing is so principled. Now, let me tell you this for free. Pastor Christopher, you may like me with all passion. You may love me. But because of, I mistakenly, or I don't know how to put it, whether by play, I say, look at the glass Pastor Christopher put on today. The anointing in you will never work for me. At all. 
Mm. Just oh. a simple mistake. That simple yes, thing yes, will work. He work. This is my nothing. Yes. Do you know why the anointing will not work? Yes. For you, oh, you don't hate me. You love me. You will pray for me passionately. Remove your suit. Roll yourself on the ground. Go to mountain fast for 200 days and 200 nights. For my sake, the prayer will not work. It is not to you. It is what is inside you. Anointing does not take nonsense. But you we can take nonsense. <laughs> anointing does not take nonsense. But I can take nonsense. Hmm. So persons might in, that the, personally mm. me, I, I I do take nonsense. People have called me names, they have insulted me, but I still see, see them as 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 more than what I see them before. But something that is bigger than me, that is in that in me, is not interested. That is why you pray for that woman. It seems that the prayer is not working. You pray for that brother, sir. You are anointed. God have called you. My God have called you. You are anointing. You are prophetic. Everything is intact. The problem is the person that have despised you in the secret. And the anointing sees not to work for them again. Am I talking to somebody tonight? I think I have three minutes. Yes, sir. God bless this you. Is the thing. I am talking about procrastination. What I mean, I want to do this this year. Men and bedroom. People that are watching us. I believe this is on live on Facebook. Yeah, people that yeah. are watching from far and near i just want to give you this as a cheap as a prayer or whatever in this 2022 you are entering one of the things you should take hold on your body look at what jesus said in the book of luke 18 verse 1 he said men ought to pray now many people we don't understand that portion of bible it's not just talking about being prayer when you are still praying you walk in accordance with obedience one of the things that provoke God the most is obedience to every of his instruction. When you are not obedient to God in accordance to his word, no matter what you do, now the person that carried the ark, are you not shocked why the man died? Is God that wicked? No. God is a God of principle. The reason the man died is because it's not his duty to carry the ark. Nobody can help God to do his work. Not all. He's not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should. Lie. When he said a word, he watched and bring it to pass. When mm. God is not instructed to do something, I said something the other day. I have made that mistake anyway, and a lot of us keep on making that mistake. There are people you are helping today. Oh, somebody is dying in the hospital. You need to send money. It's good, but sometimes that money you are sending is not God instruction for you. <laughs> God have kept that problem for another person to solve. But you jump into it. That is why you see it. Ah, because I have this sister, things are not going well with me. No, the person mm. you have is not with you. The, the problem with it is that you did mm. not obey instruction. Glory be the to God. Hallelujah. So finally, Hallelujah. I want yeah. to say this to who, whosoever that is watching from far and near. As you are entering 2022, three things you should hold on. Number one is prayer. Prayer. Number two is be a person of instruction. Keep the instruction of God. And how do you keep the instruction of God? One of the reasons why you keep the instruction of God is to always keep the instruction of a pastor that is speaking from the mind of God. And somebody will say, ordinary pastor. Very important. I don't know why, I'm, I don't minister this way before. I don't know why I'm talking this. Then the last one, the last one is very important. The last one. Obedient. Instruction, obedient. They, they look alike, but they are not the same. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for the understanding of your word and your thank life you and your breakthrough. Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Over to you, man of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank glory, you. glory, 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 glory to Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Awesome. That was awesome. 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 <laughs> Apostle Peter, may the name of the Lord be praised in your life. May his name alone be exalted in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I, I, with you, I believe um, if you look at what Apostle Peter have told us this evening, when it comes to don't make this mistake as you are crossing over to the year 2022. The, the three things he mentioned, obedience, number one, hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Crossing over to 2022, we all are going to cross over. But what are you crossing over with? That is the question. Glory to God in the highest. And I believe Amen. that the name of the Lord, that uh, what apostle have said this evening have touched your soul. 
and I, I believe that you're going to meditate on it. Listen, uh, even when we go offline, try and play this video again and again because, I, 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 you know, sometimes when you are watching a live video, sometimes you get distracted. So, but when you are in your quiet time, when you now play the video over and over again, you now find out that there are some certain things that you that you were not able to pick. So yeah. please, even when we go offline, watch this video again. And please, if you have not shared this video, kindly share this video and the name of the Lord will praise in your life. Because when you share the video, you are equally preaching the gospel. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Evangelist Amen. Godwin, over to you, man of God. I celebrate you. Let us hear what the Amen. Holy Spirit uh, has deposited in you this evening. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God, God bless you. Uh, Pastor Christopher, God bless you for your wonderful teaching uh, mm -hmm. exhortation. And uh, God bless you. Thank you Amen. God bless you, and, uh, God bless you, sir. God bless you. Well, Amen. Uh, thank you, our host. God bless you, Manam. God bless you. And um, why on this issue on the mistakes not to make? Uh, for <laughs> Celebrate, 2022, you, sir. We need to understand because. I, for one, is somebody who have gone around to do the work of an evangelist. And I've come across a lot of people. I've come across a lot of people. And these are people who are very uh, vibrant in church. They are workers. They are these. They are that. And when I began to engage them, because these people we are advising now is spread across people who, didn't, who don't know God. Probably that will come across this platform. And spread across those who are also in the house of God. And it's also spread across those who are very shallow in the things of God. And it's also come across those who are so pastors. And then I began to realize that many of them were very churchy, but they don't know the word of God. I was advising a little, uh, I, mean, uh, uh, I was telling somebody who, had to, who happened to be a uh, church person. That was two days ago. I said, do you know that when you engage in immorality, your destiny, your stars, <laughs> you are creating room for the enemy to take away your glory, your stars. I said, she began to say, it's not true. It's not, she said, it's not, not like that. It's not true. And then most of the people I've come across with in this life, I, I now realize, I begin to wonder, what have these people been learning all the while they have been going to church? There are so many things that are very deep spiritually that we are exposed to them. There was a lady I was talking to one time, she, she began to cry. She began to cry because she had never seen anybody talk to her in that dimension before because the revelation was deep to her. And I began to wonder, what have, what have these people been learning? Learning. Because the Bible talked about the Father. Just quickly look at the uh, book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2. He said, in which you used to walk when you conform to the ways of this world and of the rule of the power of the air, the spirit which is not at work in the sense of disobedience. My advice for people for this uh, coming year is that everyone needs to be very, very much aware. Let there be a, a warning that the prince of the power of the air is very, very much uh, alive, doing a lot of destructive damages to the mind and souls of people. You are talking about, I heard Pastor Chris talking about people criticizing men of God and Apostle Joseph, the same thing. Now, I want us to understand that these are the works of the prince of the power of the air that goes around. Mm -hmm. First of all, you need to corrupt the mind of the people to corrupt them about the mindset of people, of men of God. By ability to do that, then what he's specifically doing is that nothing that these men will ever say will go into their mind no more. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they are sufficient to corrupt, to corrupt their mind. People today don't even have, have met a lot of people that say, no, I just go to church in my house. I don't have time. I don't have time. I go to church in my house. So when people are not aware about the damages, about the damages that are being done behind the scene, behind the scene, in a very high capacity, you find out that you, people are breathing up. That's, that was what happened in Europe. Churches are not empty in Europe. People no longer go to church. So I'm advising the viewers who are viewing that, please, you need to be very much aware about the end time spirit, the end time spirit that are corrupting, even corrupting men of God, corrupting them. 
And there is one thing I fear so much. One thing I fear so much is that any man of God that does anything to bring down, to bring down any single soul, it is better that man was not born. It is better that man because the blood will be demanded. And oftentimes, it is also painful that some men of God also need prayers as well because uh, a lot of spirits are going on, a lot of things are happening. A lot of things are happening for the body of Christ. And nobody should rejoice over any man that falls. Any man of God that falls. Like uh, this, uh, our two pastors were saying that you don't need to criticize them. Of course, they should not rejoice. And people who used to criticize about men of God, until when I went to seven days fasting without food and water, seven days dry fasting, when I was breaking at the end of the seven days, and I realized, is this what men of God go through? Is this what men of God go through? So when people don't understand what men of God go through, they can easily criticize. They can easily criticize. So I want people to understand that there's a spirit behind working against the people of the earth. The Bible talked about the book of Revelation when he talked about that the, 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 the queen of Babylon, the, she has drained the blood of many of the saints of God. So this power is at work even among believers. So our ability to understand this will enable us to position ourselves 2022 mm. on how to begin to work in aligning ourselves with God. Now, I also want to talk about another thing that we must avoid in 2022 that we must not do. There is a high pressure from the kingdom of darkness upon our flesh about sexual immorality. There's a high pressure, high pressure. I'm talking about high pressure. I personally have got to discover that anytime I engage on a very powerful fasting, immediately I finish that fasting, the enemy begin to put pressure on my flesh. To put pressure on my flesh. Now, how much more about those who dwell full time, 100% in the flesh? The book of uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 11 was saying, that, Beloved, I urge you as foreigners and, and aliens now to abstain uh, from the desire of the flesh which war against your soul. In the country I live now, somebody was telling me that on um, especially weekend like this, people just engage in all manner of immorality without even not knowing you at all. They can just meet you now, and that is it. All manner of the children of God should abstain, abstain from these things, abstain from this because it destroys your soul. I was telling somebody, they said, I was telling somebody, I said, Look, there are two things, two things that the what the Bible said we should abstain, we should flee from the past tense of flee. Uh, the, the, the present of flee is fly. To fly away from is the sin of idolatry and the sin of immorality. Until God began to open my eyes to see. God began to open my eyes to see the danger of when somebody has said, said that shall not commit adultery. <laughs> and didn't tell you the reason behind it. That shall not commit immorality. Didn't tell you the reason behind it. I've seen people who, who evangelize these people. And they are not evangelizing. After evangelizing and bringing them to God, they will be speaking with them. A lot of things are good. A lot of things are going to wish you as stay from anything that has to do with immorality. Because that alone has the capacity and the uh, Apostle. The queen of Babylon, who is in charge of the end time war, is ravaging the destiny. The Bible talks about the fact that she sat on many waters on the destiny of so many people. And she's saying that she's not a widow. And in that wise, she's anybody that is engaging her, you are married to her. You may be sleeping with Joy, for example, or you're sleeping with Philomena, for example. And you think that you're actually having sex with that Philomena, but you will not realize that there's a queen that you are sleeping with. No, I'm not married to her. And there's one thing I have to do today. We have the part of the technology goes on. People do because most important thing that is destroying destinies today that people need to avoid in 2022. Now, if you are engaging in immorality with somebody, what happens is that God can easily forgive you, but you don't, you are not aware that you have built a covenant. You have built a covenant. And that covenant that you have built, covenant cannot be forgiven. You have to break covenant. You have to deal with it and break covenant. In other words, you are getting married now. Getting married, married, married to 
a spirit. And if you, if you don't deal with this and break your faith, just like I was saying, he said, the prince of this world is coming, but he has nothing in me. He has nothing in me. So we must abstain from these things. Abstain from these things. And the other thing I also want to talk about is godliness. Godliness. And godliness comes with patience. People, we live in a world whereby things are going so digital so fast. People want to make money. People want to get things done. They want to make it at all costs and all that. Everything, that, if you look at the trend that is going on in Africa now, people are doing all manner of blood money. All lot of things are going on. A lot of things are going on. Even in the church, a lot of gimmicks are going on on, on to make quick money. Quick money. We must realize that the time for us to begin to sit down and live a godly life, it is. Now, everything that we needed when we were born, we were created in us. You don't need to struggle. You don't need to struggle. You don't need to cut corners to become rich. No, everything that Lennon was saying, everything I need yes. to become successful in life was created in me the day I was born. The, the reason why people don't the reason why people don't get it, try to cut them because they don't tap into the inner potential, inner resources within them. Now, if you look at great mentors of the world, of the generals, who are actually tapped in with, even if you look at worldly people of the world, big stars, football stars and all that, they tap everyone that actually become great, tap into the inner potentials inside of them. So those who are who are foolish and stupid will cut corners and tap into looking for short corners to so become rich. Anytime you you, you deprive your own self, you don't know who you are. You, okay, if you look at the lion, the lion does not need to to cut corners to 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 to, to, to beg and anything to take on how to kill is imbued in the lion. A goat does not need to go and seek an advice from a dog. Please, how do I chew? Do I put this leaf in my nose or what? It's in, the nature is imbued. The dog does not seek advice from the goat. How do you eat this leaf? The goat does not, dog does not eat leaf. Is this leaf is this sweet? How do you eat it? Because it's not the nature of the dog to be eating grass. So everything that we all need is imbued in us. By the time we begin to pursue our potentials, Pursue our potential in godliness, in holiness. You will see that we begin to get, there are things that will begin to emanate from us because the world is waiting for the man, our manifestations. The, I think I have three minutes now. I have three minutes. The world is waiting for our manifestation. And our manifestation can come outside what God has built in us. There are a lot of young girls, a lot of young men, always different men around. Young women, always different women around. And young women now. A lot of things are going on. Let us begin to look in within ourselves. Enough has been built within us to help us now to achieve great destiny in life. Amen. A lot has been built within us. If you look at a man now, I think my brother was telling me about a pastor who they caught a and was giving money to people to come and give fake testimony. Oh, I was ill. I did some of those sick and wheelchair and all that. You see, do you know that some of those things that they are caught, the corner they are caught in that if they actually live a holy life in God and bring out their potential, they can do those things. Oh, That's yes. Oh, yes. You don't yes. Corners. You don't need to cut corners. So it is lazy people and people lack knowledge that will not know the, to do the right thing. So in conclusion, I want every one of us, my advice for those who are in the house to continue to, to put themselves, look inward, look inward. 2022, look inward. Don't look at what? Don't look at people. Look inward. Develop your potentials. Every time you are stranded, go and wait on God. Go and wait on God. Don't envy people. Don't look at people because there is more in you. Oh, yes. There is more. Yes. When you develop your potential, Men will be looking for you. Men will be looking for you. Your light will be bright in the nation of the world. So, uh, I just believe that um, I'll be running off now. I just, believe, I just believe that by the grace of God, like I, I'm in conclusion, I stay from immorality. Pursue your inner potentials. Don't pursue outside. And thirdly, the other thing I said was that we should be aware. 
by the spirit walking not at work behind the scene, destroying destinies. I believe for you to abstain from these three things that it takes for God next year to change to work out for you. I thank you for this one and you are giving Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. That was awesome. That was awesome. I celebrate you, Evangelist Godwin. Thank you very much, man of God. Wow. What, what a wonderful episode of Boldness in Christ Jesus. We are, we, are, we are really going, we are experiencing today. This is another dimension entirely. This is the first talk show on boldness in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And uh, if you look at what the man of God uh, said this evening, Evangelist Godwin, he spoke, he told us about the danger of immorality. <laughs> Honestly speaking, immorality is one of the tools that the kingdom of darkness is using when it comes to the yeah. body of Christ. Mm -hmm. It's a very and, and it makes people to feel they are covered with grace, so it doesn't matter. No, my dear, it means it means a lot because it will it will limit the ability of the glory of God upon the person's life. When the person is supposed to be expanded, maybe hundred percent, because of immorality, mm -hmm. the person will we will be stagnant. Sometimes the person can even just be stagnant with just fifty percent because of the effect. Of that immorality. Glory to God. That was awesome. May the name of the Lord be praised. I would just also like to add one or two things. The things that we must not cross over with to 2022. The things, the mistake we must not make. One of the things I would like to talk about is bitterness. If you have bitterness in your heart, don't cross over with it to 2022. If you have hatred, if there are people that you have hatred towards, you have the spirit of hatred, drop it. Don't cross over with it to 2022. If God has made us to understand that we should love one another as he has loved us to the extent of giving his life for us on the cross of Calvary, then we should allow love to take over. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Another Amen. thing that I would like us to drop as we are crossing over to 2022, is the spirit of jealousy. The spirit of jealousy has eaten a lot of people deep to the extent that they are they, the people that they are supposed to even go to for help or the people that God have assigned in their life to be their help of destiny, the spirit of jealousy have made them to make mistakes, not even to see that this person is important to them. There is one thing that I would like everybody to understand. Do you know why the spirit of jealousy is very, very dangerous and is not, it's not supposed to be in anyone? Because what you have, what God has destined for you, what God is uh, predestined for you cannot be given to somebody else. Never. Whatever that somebody else has is what that it belongs to that person. What you have belongs to you. And there is another thing I would like to say this evening. There are things that there are, there are some potentials in you that the person doesn't have. In as much as you are looking at that person, that that person has one or two things that you don't have. Likewise, there are things that you have that that person doesn't have. So there is no need for any spirit of jealousy to take over any take over the body of Christ. You can see there are so many competitions due to jealousy. Brothers and sisters, the mistake that we must not make as we are crossing over to 2022 is to avoid everything that the men of God have said this evening. Immorality, uh, slandering of men of God, disobedience, uh, prayerlessness, and not, always, not having passion for the word of God. Listen, if you really want to move into 2022 um, with a difference, you really have to work on this aspect. When you have passion for the word of God, just like what Pastor Christopher said, when you are deep inside in the, in the, with passion for the word of God, it revives you, it builds you up, it teaches you what you don't know. The Bible says faith comment. Comment how? By hearing. Hearing what? The word of God. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Amen. Just like what uh, Apostle said, obedience. When the Bible said obedience is better than sacrifice. It's just that a lot of people, they, they 
they, they believe in sacrifice, sacrifice. But what about being obedient to the spirit of God? What about being obedient to what the what the uh, what God has said? What about being obedient, obeying what God wants you to obey God? Listen, obedience is very important. As you cross over to 2022. Let obedience to the word of God, obedience to the spirit of God, obedience to the guidelines of God, let it be number one aspect of your life that you must cross over with to 2022. Don't cross over with disobedience. Hallelujah. And Amen. another aspect that uh, uh, Evangelist Godwin said, I've said it earlier on, he, he, really, he, he really spoke about the immorality aspect. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's just Amen. like a, a sister. You are praying to God for a husband. And you are praying <laughs> to God for a husband. Yet you are keeping one boyfriend or one, one, one man friend or one sugar daddy behind in one place. And you are praying to God for, for a husband. Then how will it manifest when you are living in morality? How will it manifest? Even when the husband will come, you won't even notice the husband is around. Why? Because you are already sleeping around with different men. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. You will not know. Likewise, men. Maybe a brother is praying for a, 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 a wife and you're already sleeping with different women. Even when the right woman will come, you won't even know because you have you have been blinded by sleeping with different women. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Amen. It's just these are the things that we must avoid. It's really eating deep in the in Christendom, and we have to put a stop to it. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Amen. Please, if you have some questions you can ask, just drop it on the on the right there in the comment section. Men of God, I have uh, some questions here that uh, some people sent to me uh, in my inbox. Hallelujah! And I would like to share yeah. it. One number one of the question it says, "How do he say what are he say uh, whenever I am fasting and praying very hard." Hallelujah. Pastor Christopher, I would like you to throw light on this, please. He said, whenever I'm fasting and praying very hard, I end up always having attacks in my dreams, even eating. He said, what must I do? Does it mean that his, pray his prayer is not working? Why did Hallelujah. attack whenever he's fasting and praying is really strong or fighting hard when it comes to spiritual aspects? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Over to you, Pastor Christopher. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. First of all, I want to congratulate the person that asked that question. Because you see mm -hmm. one thing. If you are fasting and praying and such attack does not come, that means your fasting is not doing, going anywhere. It means you are not doing it right. When you are fasting and praying and you get attacks, whether in your dream or physically, that shows you are hitting the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. That shows that your prayer is hitting them and the devil does not fold his hand. When you hit the mm. devil, he will try to fight back. What you need to do is continue. Mm. You continue. The more you continue, before you know it, it will, it will get weak and it will leave you alone. Mm. But if it brings that, you see, devil is always good at gra gra. All this uh, kind of, he wants to create fear in you. He wants to create fear in you that you see what you are, up or not, you are fasting, you are, you are praying, look at what is happening to you. But if you are sensitive in the spirit, you know that you are already hitting them in the kingdom, then you begin to, 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 to pray and fast the more. You pray the more you hit them before you know it, know what is happening. You have already conquered them. So when such a thing happens, don't relax. Keep on praying. And as you do so, ah. your breakthrough will hit you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What a wonderful contribution. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That is exactly the answer to that question. Whenever you are fasting, you are praying, and you keep on having attack or all this stuff, it shows that your prayer is effective. Yeah. Pastor Chris, I can remember when we were with uh, Evangelist Isobel, when we were on that training with Evangelist Isobel. I remember there was something that happened that time. Bro, you know, you remember he always keep us inside the church for days, yes, praying yes, yes. and fasting. 
Hallelujah. You know, when Amen. we started, we were like, oh, what kind of punishment is this? But <laughs> later on, we now started enjoying it. Glory to God. Oh, yes. I remember oh, yes. that time. Ah, oh, yes. uh, hallelujah. Okay. The more we were fasting, the more I see myself in that kind of eating in the dream and all those stuff. But all of a, all of a sudden, go to a, an estate. And also, I remember I shared it, I shared it with evangelist. So, but then I don't know whether I shared it with you. I can't remember. And I had a dream. In that dream, I saw my late grandmother. She came and I was telling her that I'm hungry. She should give me food. She said, No, that anytime they give me food, I always vomit the food. That I'm wasting their food. They will they have bad that they will no longer <laughs> give me food. Hallelujah. When I told yeah. the evangelist that it's okay, that story, he laughed. And so since then, it was something that it, 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 the thing ended like that. Why? Because we continued in praying oh, yeah. and fasting. Because the Bible said, it said, when Satan tried Jesus, when he did not saw the Bible said, he left for, for a while. He, he left for, for a while. while. Yeah. He, he, uh, imagine Jesus was fa fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Huh. Under normal circumstances, Satan is not even supposed to come close. He's supposed to be so fireized that even Satan can't even come near him. But that was the very time, the very moment Satan came. So it, that was a wonderful contribution, uh, Pastor Chris. Whenever you are fasting, you are praying, you see yourself still eating in the dream, it shows that your prayer is effective. Glory to God. Oh, Hallelujah. Uh, the next uh, question, uh, Apostle, please, I would like you to answer this. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The person asked this question. He said, how do I know that I'm in a right relationship? How do I know that I'm in a right relationship? That is like uh, when somebody is in a courtship with a man or courtship with a woman. He said, how will he or she know that this relationship is, uh, this man or this woman is the right person for him or her? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. This question, uh, thank God for the question, because I discussed it with a, with a brother this afternoon on my way. Hallelujah. How do you know you are in the right relationship? Number one, one of the errors <laughs> that people make, each time we hear, uh, they break my heart, they broke my heart. I keep on telling people, when you check the broken of heart of women, 90% are caused by the women. Because number one, the young man you are following because he's always coming, to, everybody wants to blame the man. Do you know the man? You have ever seen the man? Is he ready? Now, let me come to this way. How do you know the relationship because of time factor? How do you know the relationship is, is going somewhere? Number one is what you bring. Now, people that are hearing me, I said it on, on phone call. Thank God I have opportunity to air it now. The whole world will hear. If you are a woman, Hear me and hear me well. You see, I'm a man, and these men are here. In relationship, in marriage, in anything, the relationship that leads to marriage, go and meet any man that will tell you the truth. Every man that is married today, 90% of them, the woman they married, they never wanted to marry. They just needed just friend, not even to have carnal knowledge. Me, you know, we are so childish when it comes to that area. The people that own the relationship, marriage, or whatever, are women, but a lot of women don't know this. It is the attitude a woman brings that makes a man to become to change it to marriage automatically. And a lot of women don't know this. If a man tell you sit down, sit down first. That man is not trying to control you. You know the stupid oh, yeah. thing that I do now. Women right, a woman this. Uh, no, don't let any woman man control you. You are you are not a housewife or you are not a footer. You have to work. No, there are many things that people are getting wrong. That is why you see our mothers, they have a very great marriage. Do you think that our mothers don't have all these issues? They know that our fathers or our grandfathers, they, they mess up. How No woman will sit at home and see man bringing another woman to join her. Nothing. But they will be it because they don't want to lose their respect. Now, coming to young ladies, if you are listening to me, you are in courtship. How will your courtship work? Number one, what men? These are the secrets ladies don't know. Number one, always ask the man about his vision. Always be interested in what drives the man, not what the man drives. There are different between what you drive and what drives you. Yeah. Always interested. Mm. And the moment a man, I'm a man. This is our secret. The moment any man sees that you are interested in what's, what drives him, he will change his mind. 
If he wanted to play with you, he will change his mind automatically. And number two, don't let any motivational Facebook or this social media YouTube keep deceiving you. Anybody that is telling you that you have equal rights with man in marriage, that the Western world, the world of check, is still deceiving you. That is not biblical. The biblical standard remains that man is the head of the house. Whether I take it or leave it, if you don't want to submit to any man, don't get into a relationship or marriage. I said it again. When a man asks you to sit down, my sister, sit down first. It's not because he's controlling you. No. Sit down. That man does not mean it. This is meant for you. I'm a man. I'm just telling you secrets. Sometimes when a man asks you to do something, it's not contrary. He just wants to know the kind of person you are. But unfortunately, a lot of ladies, they fail this. They fail this simple test. You understand? They will fail this simple test. They'll say, no, no man can control me. But you don't know that this little thing is where the man will know who you are. Hallelujah. Amen. So finally, Amen. what I'm here to answer the question, to know a good relationship, Amen. like I hit it again, God. to know the relationship that will work is very Amen. simple. Yes. The speech, because the, every relationship starts with words. No one, Hallelujah. everything starts with words. It is where that God used to create words. It is where that the man says, excuse me, sister, or excuse me, brother. So yes. the conversation, Amen. Know where this thing is going, whether they are joking, mm. whether they are serious. Make sure you are intelligent to understand conversation. This is one of the problems a lot of people don't know. They are not intelligent because out of the abundance of heart, they must speak it. Yeah. Glory be to God. I leave us with you because of time. I don't like. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, man of God, for that uh, wonderful. Uh, for that wonderful answer to the question and i'd like to add one more thing when you are in a relationship and you want to know whether it's the right personality for you the peace listen there you know there's something i always say on facebook live there is no mistake that we have made in life that god did not give us a sign hallelujah whether in the dream or maybe true feeling or the or otherwise. When you are in a relationship that is not going anywhere, that doesn't even have a pathway, you will find out that you lack peace. <clears throat> it's just that we want to do something that God is not involved in it. You will find out that you lack peace. You will find that there is oh, no yes. peace. Hallelujah oh, yes. to Jesus Christ. Amen. Pray about it. God will speak to you. God will tell you something about it. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory Amen. to God. In as much as we, uh, like what Apostle said, it spoke about the physical aspect by obeying, listening to him, uh, respecting him. The spiritual aspect, if you want to know whether the man is right for you or the woman is right for you, go into prayers. Ask God question. Who is this man? Who is this woman? Lord, show me what I need to know about this person. This person. You'll find out that you will have a sign. God will give you a sign whether this is the right person or not. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Uh, evangelist, uh, God, please, this question goes to you. Somebody said, he said, what are the secrets of how to hear from God, how to hear the voice of God, how to hear from God? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Okay, thank, thank you very much for that question. Uh, hearing from God is something that the Bible says in the last day, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. Mm. And of course, a daughter shall begin to... Prophesy with dream, dreams and all that, you know. But unfortunately, at this same time, yeah, um, not everybody actually maximizing a speech that is giving freely to us to hear from God. They said, if you want to hear from God, there is one thing that you must do. There is one thing you must do. You must begin to see man, see yourself, mankind, in a perspective that all men have been defied, all have falling short of the, all I've seen are falling short of the glory of God. So for you to begin to uh, uh, hear from God, there is something the secret you must begin to do. I want us to look at this now. 
uh, I want us to look at this what Jesus Christ said. And then we use that as, as a means to answer this question. And Jesus Christ was saying something. He said, you cannot pour uh, a new wine. You cannot pour a new wine into an old bottle. Into an old bottle. Uh, but rather, if you do that, it will burst. And let's also look at the fact that when Jesus was saying something that out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water, that thing signified the Holy Spirit. And let's let's go look at first of all, Mark chapter 2, verse 22. He said, No one pours new wine into old wine skin. If he does, the wine will burst the skin. And both the wine and the wine skin will be ruined. Instead, new wine is poured into new wine skin. Now, there are a lot of things that are being built in man that causes man not to hear from God. Often time, God is speaking to us, speaking to us, speaking to us. But because the nature of man, which existed uh, in an unholy form, causes these things now to be trapped. Any word that is being given to you, just like when God was sending the Jamaican to, to Daniel, that word, it was trapped. It was trapped. Now, the first thing you need to do is to begin to empty yourself from all form of satanic deposit inside of you. When you begin to empty yourself. There was one time I was praying one time, and I saw a vision. I was praying. I fell into a trance. I saw myself walking in that vision. I had no head. I was just walking without head. My neck was, I was just walking without head. I was surprised. I said, ah, what is it? And I began to ask the Lord, what is this? He said, the enemy has cut off your head so that you don't, the, the, the receptacle to hear, to see, to, to, to perceive is not there. Then I was wondering, can somebody said, be cut off in the demon spirit and then physically you are still living. Now, for and the Lord was telling me that a lot of things that the enemy... There was one time I was praying, I saw my foot turn backwards. You know what? Your, your feet now, it, it goes forward. It turns backwards. A lot of damage the enemy has done against mankind in a way that is so pitiable. If God take your eye to see the state of man in the realm of the spirit, it's so pitiable that you will weep. What the so the first thing to do is to begin to empty yourself, recreate your new man, your spirit, your soul. When you regenerate your soul, so that when you now regenerate your soul, it within when I began to do all these things, I didn't know all this before. I began to do these things, I began to do, I began to repair, repair, or put every old thing in my life, every old thing in my life. Then the spirit now was not still in me. Then all of a sudden, at times when I started to hear from God, I'll be saying certain things mm. when I pray for people. I'll be saying things, it looks as if it's a shadow. I, I, I just, I just I will say it, and the person will confirm it. It's true. Then one time, I see myself, I will hear some things. The first thing was started, I began to see. At times, I'm praying for people over the phone, and I'm just scanning their body in the realm of the spirit. And I'll be seeing certain things in their womb. I'll see certain things in any part of their body. I'm praying, I began to scan. Because the leader was praying for his pain. And I said, there is something the, the enemy has deposited in you. I never knew that before. There's something that I was praying. I saw something in our womb area, like a thought. There's something the enemy has deposited in your womb. And that thing is the enemy was shot. I began to say a lot of things. And she began to confirm, I began to scream. There's a lady from South Africa also. Who just spoke, spoke with me last week? I don't know how from she just contacted me on Facebook. As I began to speak, I was telling her what the enemy wants to do against her, who is having HIV in your family, who is this, who is this, who is this. I began to hear a lot of things. I, I don't know. I just said I just started saying it. As I was talking, I just started saying it. Why? Because I've done a lot of work to ensure. The Bible said out of their belly shall flow rivers of living water that living water in the Holy Spirit. And if, if, if there is no vacuum in you for that, if there is nothing that is river not to flow within you, it becomes a problem. So you need to ensure there are a lot of 
I began to teach people who were following me on my platform. I said, you need to do satanic deposit. And I said, begin to do it, do it. Begin to approach, approach, approach satanic deposit. I was praying for one woman one day. Physically, nothing happened. But in that same night, in the dream, she had, she saw, mm. as, omitting so many, as, just as a uh, uh, prophetess, Joy was saying that she, she, she was no longer eating. There are not we have eaten the dawn in the past that have corrupted the, the rivers of the water, not to flow. So you need to begin to make way for all these things. And so fortunately, many things, and these things are not being taught to a lot of people in this end time. People are very ignorant of these things. Otherwise, by now, the spirit ought to be flowing in every one of us, and we ought to be the envy of the of the, of the hidden nations. Thank you very much. I just hope I answered the question. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, Hallelujah. Glory, glory. That was awesome. Glory to God. Glory to God. Uh, time has been fast spent. Glory to God. I would also just like to contribute how to hear from God. You know, many of us, we always expect God to come and say, Hey, it's me, <laughs> your God. Hear me now. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Now me they talk, now me they talk, now me, now me, your God they talk. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Sometimes you can just God can speak like just like example. Sometimes when you are supposed to go to somewhere, when you are about to go to somewhere, you just find out that you just be having some kind of strange feeling. Hallelujah. Your mind will just be, you know, you just be having some kind of strange feelings. You just be, you, you just be here. You know, sometimes uh, the Bible makes us to understand. He said the wind came, the wild wind came. He said God was not in it. Your thunder came. God was not in it. It was a very still, still voice. Glory to God. Many Hallelujah. of us, we have been, we do hear from God, but the fact is just that we don't know that that is God talking. Sometimes we say, my mind, they tell me. We say it's our mind that is telling us, whereas it's the Spirit of God that is speaking to us. Glory to God in the highest. Without wasting much of our time, glory to Please, if you have not shared this video, kindly share this video. Glory to God. As you share the video, you are equally uh, uh, preaching the gospel. Glory to God. Before we go offline this evening, if you know that you have not given your life to Christ, please, that is a platform you can stand on. As you are entering 2022, you have to give your life to Christ. For you to be able to cross over to take over, you must first of all give your life to Christ. Please, if you are here, you have not given your life to Christ, kindly spread this prayer point, this prayer with Pastor Christopher. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you know you are in that category, please, I want you to repeat this with me. Father, say in the Father, name of Jesus. Amen. I come to you today in all humbleness. Glory. Father, accept me. I am sorry for all my sins. Forgive me my sins. Wash my sins away with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Cleanse Jesus. me, Lord. Make me whole. Write my name in the book of life. Blot my name away from the book of death. In the name of Jesus, accept me as your own Lord. I am born again. I pray specially for you in the name of Jesus. You will not fall. You will not falter. May God continue to strengthen you. May God take you from height to height in the name of Jesus. You are born again. Congratulations. God bless you. Hallelujah. You are welcome to the body of Christ. And now, uh, if you know you are in, the, in this category, your love for Christ have was cold. Your passion for the word of God have was cold because of issues of life. Listen to me, my brothers and my sister. You are not alone. The Lord is with you. When uh, when uh, Apostle Peter cried unto Jesus, as he was thinking, he cried unto the Lord that, that Jesus should help him. The Bible says Jesus was behind. Jesus was right there with him. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. If you know you are in this category, Apostle Pete Joe, please kindly pray for this set of people. 
for the spirit of God to to energize them and for passion for Christ to 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 to, to begin to uh, increase in their life in Jesus Christ. <laughs> Apostle yeah, Peter, yeah, we are yeah. waiting for you, sir. Okay. Hello? Apostle Peter, we are waiting for you. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, he said, we will pray for people who have lost passion for the things of God. This, oh, this are one of the attack, like uh, the men of God are preached. One of the attack, the end time, the enemies are using. You know, people who ask code for the things of God. So I want to encourage us tonight. When Jesus come across the Peter and the rest of them, he said, come follow me. I will make you the fishers of men. He said, I will make you fishers of men. And their life changed from that day. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 6, verse 33, it says, Seek ye first the kingdom, every other thing shall be added unto you. And he jumped and said in the other day in the book of John 14, verse 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and life. Also in the book of John 1, from 11 to 13, he said, I came to my people and they received me not. as many that received me to them I gave power. Now I want to encourage whosoever the power, the, the passion for Christ have what strong, have what code that it as you are entering this from this night, not you are entering from this very moment, I want you to say to yourself, say Father renew my strength empower me every spirit of procrastination every spirit from the pit of hell making me to see the things of the gospel as a joke making me to be part of person or people who are condemning the gospel father deliver me this is a lot of people need deliverance from this and i pray for whosoever that was strong uh, code for the things of god but the power bestowed on me and the joint faith in the house uh, i pray that that the text of god will be in you I pray for you, whatsoever thing that I'm making you to feel that the things of God is a joke. By the power upon me, I pray that you receive your strength, you receive the joy in the name of Jesus. These things are not ordinary. It's an attack. And a lot of people don't know that you see somebody, you will ask them, I used to go to church before. It's not ordinary. But I pray that after tonight, that passion will come back. That test will come back in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you for your word. We pray that your word will dwell in your children Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Please, uh, Evangelist God, please come to one minute. Please. Let me pray for everyone that is alive, right now, that will watch this video later. So that your name of the Lord be praised in their life. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Can you mute? Can you mute? Can you mute? Okay, Mark. Okay. I have done that. So, what did you say? Can you, can you, can you tell what did you say, please? Now, you can speak to me now. He said, what did you say? Evangelist Godwin said, what did you say? Okay. I said, Evangelist Godwin, please kindly pray for the, everyone that is online with us right now. And I will also watch this video later for the spirits of God to rest up. That thing they desire most, let the Holy Spirit take control and manifest it in their lives in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we thank you. We worship you, Lord. We have come together before you, Lord. We thank you for this thank time. You, to how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together. We have come, O oh Lord, to dwell before you. We have gathered because of your for yourself. And you also said in your word that we are two or three are gathered, you are there. Lord, as we have gathered, we intercede and pray for those, O oh Lord, who will be watching, who shall be watching later, Lord, that Lord, every time we gather, there is something that you do in our lives. There is something that you take away and add in our lives. We ask, O yes. oh Lord, that everyone that comes to hear the Lord through this method, let something be taken away from them and let there be an addition of 
every good thing that you have destined for their life and their destiny. Lord, let them be a vision, a divine encounter intervention upon their lives, upon their destiny. Let there be a turnaround as they hear. Let their hearts be crushed from every time they hear. But as they hear, let there be a change over, O oh Lord. As they hear, Amen. let there be a Holy Ghost impact upon their life that will cause Amen. them to be that put them into greater, a greater experience in year 2022. Amen. Lord, that Amen. even next year they will come and testify and testify. Amen. And and enter into higher dimensions of glory in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. I also pray for everyone, the ministers that have gathered at this hour, the Lord, by your divine power. Let them be, Lord, peed upon our lives, upon our destiny. Amen. Lord, Amen. To enter into higher dimensions, Lord, that we have never Amen. experienced it before. Let Amen. our ministry be open. Let the doors closed against our ministry be open. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So Amen. Then today, honestly, what a wonderful episode of Boldness in Christ Jesus we have had today. And please, if you have not shared this video, kindly share the video and the name of the Lord will praised in your life. Glory to God. Always Hallelujah. remember, Boldness in Christ Jesus is every Saturday, 7 p.m. European and Nigeria time, 6 p.m. UK time. 8 p.m. Uh, South Africa time, 1 p.m. New York time. Glory to God. Remember today's topic says, the mistake you must not make. Hallelujah to Jesus Christ. Please, it's very important as we are crossing over to 2022. Glory to God. There are so many things we must avoid. There are so many things we must make sure that it doesn't enter 2022 without glory to God. Even before we cross over to 2022, there are some certain things that you must also make sure that it goes with you in 2022. And these are some of the things that the men of God online with me right now have also mentioned. May the name of the Lord be praised. Men of God, Pastor Christopher, I celebrate you, sir. Thank you for this wonderful moment with us this evening. Thank God you for bless you, to man bless of God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Evangelist Godwin. God bless you all. God bless you, man of God, Apostle Pijo. Thank you for joining. I know you are. You have a program today. I'm desperate that you we are still able to join us. Thank you for that. He has he, he was inside the car all this while. So we know Europe uh, system now the code, he doesn't have respect for anybody. So he has no choice but to enter the hall. So that is why we have been hearing some noise. Glory to God. Apostle Peter, thank you, Ma. Thank you, sir, for joining us. May the name of the Lord be praised in your life. And evangelist God, when I celebrate you, man of God. Thank you for this great, great, great opportunity to go for us, for people that are following goodness in Christ Jesus to hear what the Holy Spirit has deposited in you today. May the name of the Lord be praised in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Glory Amen. to God. Till we come your way again next week, Saturday, always remember, with boldness in Christ Jesus, your 2022 will be a year of diff with different dimension. When you cross over to 2022 with boldness in Christ Jesus, you will be fearless and be able to tackle whatever that be ta that tackled you in 2021. You will be able to fight back whatever that fought you in 2021. You will be you'll be able to possess your possession and recover it all, everything that was taken from you in 2021. Always be bold in Christ Jesus. Till we come your way again next week Saturday. God bless you. We love you all. Shalom. Shalom.